Love here, and I am excited to bring you my finished project for the collaboration between Ulala La Vintage Treasures, Bird and Barn Designs, and Red Hill Fiber Co. This is it. <laughs> it was so much fun to do. I cannot wait to share it with you. And of course, you will find a link to um, Ulala La Vintage Treasures on Etsy, where you can get the beautiful digitals. And there will be a link to Martha's channel, which is Bird and Bard Design, who provided the design team with these lovely, lovely lace bobbins. And there will also be a link to Red Hill Fiber Co., um, who makes the lace bobbins. So very cool. So much fun to do. And I went with the, I had two choices of boxes to work with, a little wooden box, which is so super cute, which I can't wait to work on later, and then the cigar box so I went with the cigar box but what I did is I propped up the lid and then I backed it with some very sturdy um, chipboard uh, so that it doesn't close anymore because I wanted it to have a backing to put my spools lace spools up against and I made this to house my very special things so I also created a divider using one of um, Doreen's Digitals, and in the front will be all these gorgeous bling pieces. I'm very excited about it, but let me show you uh, the back first. So I ended up covering the box in fabric, of course, like I do, <laughs> all the boxes in fabric, and it is this beautiful piece of fabric that Doreen gave me uh, in my precious bits kit. I love it. And then around the bottom is this beautiful fabric that I just got when I received all the bits for um, this collaboration. So I just uh, wrapped that around everything. And then this beautiful piece was another piece that she sent in this collaboration kit. And I love it. And uh, those of you who are already subbed, I'm sure will not be surprised that I went with the Pink Parfait Cafe kit. <laughs> because I love that kit. Doreen's kits, all of them are beautiful and I love how they are all interchangeable and work so well with each other. They're fabulous. But that is the kit I went with. But I will say, I'm not sure which kit the bows came out of. I don't know if that's Pink Parfait Cafe or not, but I already had them printed out on cardstock, so I used the bows I already had. But I did, of course, stickle around it. And then this beautiful applique was gifted to me from Doreen in this collab kit. I love it. So this is a digital from Pink Parfait Cafe. It's, um, is it one of the postcards? I don't remember. But I sewed around the edge and then I popped it on the back so the back could also be pretty. And then I, I added these feet, but I forgot to put the brads before I screwed the feet on. So I probably should go through and add the brads. <laughs> and then this, this, beautiful ruffle trim was also in my collab package thank you Doreen I love it and then I added which I need to adhere that a little bit better right there I added this beautiful bling trim I had in my stash all the way around it's absolutely gorgeous and so let me take out the bobbins and show you the box I actually lined the box with this beautiful dyed paper I got from my friend Marie Thank you, Marie. It makes the box smell so amazing. I love it. And then, um, of course, this is covered in fabric. This is a beautiful digital from the kit. And then I got this beautiful applique from Doreen. So I added it right there. This is a little, um, one of those crimp tassels that I made uh, following a tutorial from my friend um, Julie at Paper Play uh, with Julie K. And then I added this beautiful glass um, chandelier dangle right there. Gorgeous. So I love, love the way this box turned out. Like it's going to be beautiful sitting. Um, I got a cabinet, an antique cabinet that my papa made and I am going to refinish it and paint it and then this is going to sit in there with my favorite laces and bling which brings me to the lace bobbins let me show you what I did with these so if you saw in my unboxing video I got uh, three of the uh, decorated 
pod bobbins, and then I got three of the plain bobbins. So I'm going to show you how I did each. This is how it'll be finished, but let me show you what I did with them. So I decided to collage. I like had so many ideas, but collage is what won. <laughs> so I used beautiful bits from Doreen's Digitals and some of the uh, paper that she sent to collage on them. And then I added blings and pearls to the top and then a bow from one of her kits. And I just think they're precious. So those are the decorated ones. Cute, cute. And this is the large bobbin. Um, Red Hill Fiber Co. does have different size lace bobbins and other um, lace organizational things. So be sure and go check it out. So on the solid ones, I collaged the entire thing. Obviously I didn't want to cover up the scroll work on the other. And then these little like tea and coffee cups um, I put on each one because they're just so cute. So when you take your lace off, they'll be a, an adorable little mug. Aren't they cute? I love how these turned out. They're so sweet. It's so, so cute. And on the back, I just lined them with paper. I didn't collage on both sides. So just use the paper on one side and then this beautifulness on the other but I did want to say that this is how I'm going to finish them off they are going to all have uh, some of my absolute favorite vintage lace that I can't even bear to use <laughs> wrapped around look at how beautiful that is I love it and then I'm going to pin them all with these these are also from the pink parfait cafe kit and they come with uh, little tops on them, but I just cut the top off and I put in um, a little eyelet and then pinned it right on. So they'll all have these dangling off. So here are the other ones I have waiting to get pinned on. They're just, they're so cute. And I just think this is gorgeous, right? And this whole little setup. Oh, I'm so thankful. So thank you, uh, Martha and Doreen and um, Red Hill Fiber uh, Company. I love it. It's absolutely precious. I would love to know what you think. How do you think it turned out? Um, be sure you follow the link to all the other designers. They're all creating uh, their own take on this same project, which is always fun to see. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.